Hi, I'm Mark Pose, Athletic Director at Carmel Catholic High School. Today marks our first National Signing Day, and typically we would be celebrating together in person in our main gym. Due to the school being remote learning, much like everything else, we are going to do this virtually, but virtually we will do it, be doing it in our new fitness center. This has always been a day I've cherished because it means our student athletes are going to be compete at the next level. Despite the virtual recognition, it still is a very special day. Today we recognize three student athletes who will be continuing their volleyball, lacrosse, and softball careers starting next fall. Through the use of technology, we now have a chance to hear from these three young ladies. First, Annie Bart, girls volleyball, Binghamton University. How's it going? Coach Paisley here. Uh, quick shout out to Annie Bart. Huge congratulations for signing to play D1 next year. So cool, so happy for you, very excited. I know all your teammates are too. Um, you know, one thing that stands out to me about Annie, it's not just how she plays, but it's how she works. I don't know many players who have trained for as long, as hard as she has to earn this right to play at the next level. And she's always done it with the best attitude and this team first mentality that, you know, every coach dreams of. So Annie, congratulations. So excited for you. Can't wait to see what you do with your senior season. Hopefully we still get that. And I can't wait to see what you do at the next level. Good luck. Hi, my name is Annie Bart. I'm a senior here at Carmel and I'm committed to play volleyball at Binghamton University. Um, I started playing volleyball when I was in second grade, but I grew up around the game because my aunt is a volleyball coach and she also played at Eastern Illinois. Um, my journey with Binghamton started uh, going into the summer of my junior year. The assistant coach emailed me and we started talking and I really liked the vibe that I was getting from her. And so I decided that I wanted to get to know more about the school and she invited me to come on an unofficial visit um, last year in November. And so I went on the visit and I really loved the school and the girls and everything about the program. And so from there, um, she came to watch me and my team at um, uh, the National Invitational Tournament, which is a really big tournament for volleyball. And um, after that tournament, she told me that the head coach was gonna come and fly out um, to our power league and watch me play um, so they could get one last look over. And he ended up coming. And then about a week later, she called me um, with an offer to come play at Binghamton. And I knew that it was where I wanted to go. So I waited a week and then I took it. And there's a bunch more to the story, but that is it. And I'm so happy with my decision and I cannot wait to be signed to my dream school. Bye. Thank you, Annie, for sharing with us. Now we move on to Reagan Danning, girls lacrosse, Rockhurst University. Hi, this is Coach Amato. Uh, it's been a pleasure coaching Reagan over the last two years, if you want to call it that. Um, but she has been nothing but an amazing person, an amazing athlete, an amazing lacrosse player. And we wish her nothing but the best at Rockhurst. Ranner, you got this kid. Can't wait to see you play in college. Go Danner. Hi, my name is Reagan Danner. I've been playing lacrosse for nine years. I started playing lacrosse because my brother played and I was dragged all the tournaments anyways, so I thought I might as well pick up a stick and play. I played boys lacrosse for two years and then found a girls lacrosse program and have been playing girls lacrosse ever since. I've played for the Team One Lacrosse Club for two years, traveling all over the place and playing with and against many Division One players. I have been on varsity since freshman year, and although our season was cut short last year, I'm still very hopeful I get to play one last season with my favorite team. Lacrosse has always been an outlet for me, and I've made, and I'm very thankful for all the lifelong friends I've made. I owe so much to my coaches. If it wasn't for them pushing me and believing in me, I definitely would not be where I am today. Thank you, Coach Amato and Coach Vinci, for always pushing me to be my best and supporting me through everything. Lacrosse has always been my passion and I will continue my academic and athletic career at Rockhurst University in Kansas City, Missouri. Go Hawks. Thank you, Reagan, for sharing with us. 
And last but not least, Haley Swiatowski, softball, attending Austin College in the fall. Hi, I'm Haley Swiatowski, and I'll be attending Austin College in Sherman, Texas, and I have the privilege of playing softball there. I started playing t-ball when I was about four, and I played that until I was old enough to play softball. And then I started playing travel ball when we moved here to Illinois in sixth grade. And travel ball has given me friends that have become more like sisters to me than friends. And that then carried into me being able to play um, varsity my freshman and sophomore year. And as most people know, the softball team goes to Alabama over spring break to play there. And in Alabama, that is where I found my love for the South and I knew that that's where I wanted to spend the next four. And so I started doing research on schools in Texas about um, the major that I wanted, which is education. And Austin College has such an outstanding education program. So I reached out to the coach and I met the coach and she's wonderful. And then she let me meet some of the girls and they gave me such a welcoming family um, atmosphere that I knew I wanted to be a part of. So I'm looking forward to spending the next four in Sherman, Texas. And I wanna thank everyone who has gotten me here and I'm looking forward to being a roof for the next four. Thank you, Haley, for sharing. As you have heard, the future is bright for our new signees. Fortunately for us, all three still have their senior year in their respective sports. So we will have the opportunity to watch them perform one more season wearing the brown and gold. On behalf of the entire athletic department, I want to congratulate Annie, Reagan, and Haley on this hard-earned and much-deserved opportunity to play at the next level. We look forward to bringing you to our February signing day so we can do it in person. Congratulations again.